All right. Hang on. Got to gear everything back up. All right. All right. All right. Failed to post the tweet. Are we live? We are live. Everything has fallen apart this morning. All right. So we're back. Resolute one, two, three. Yes. If you were on the last live stream, um, the disastrous live stream where my tablet just stopped working. All right. Let me go in here and I've got to try this again. I'm going to, make that other I'm gonna do away with that other stream there of course I said the algorithm was liking what was going on let's send in everything the, and then of course the wheels fall off of everything so anyway we're gonna do a um, a an original character that doesn't suck hopefully but given what just happened in the disastrous lives last stream um, we're not gonna uh, I'm gonna make that one Private, save, and we should be good now. All right. Good morning, Raindrop. Some big jerk. Helion, happy dazzle. We're we're back. We're back. So, for those of you watching this stream a little bit later, what just happened was uh, the the reason the beginning of this stream was a little wonky was because uh, the last stream my tablet just stopped working, uh, and I had to restart because of course it did. Uh, I gotta find my music and we'll be ready to roll. All right, with the no attribution folder, I select from here to here. I hit enter, and it should start playing. Should there we go? All right, let's pretend like I'm starting now. Hey everybody, look, I've got a fire in the fireplace. It's sleeting and snowing outside. That's what I said the first time. Share the link, hit the button. Happy New Year to you. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. We're going to draw a character that hopefully doesn't suck. But now that I'm all like agitated and frustrated and not, so I make no guarantees. This might be horrible. This might be how to draw a character that does suck. First, start a live stream and set yourself up for failure. So I don't know what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a big shape. That's a good good place to start. We're going to draw a big shape. Um, we're going to see what kind of unfolds. Let's draw a... Um, what's up? Cam is back. Our people are coming back in. doing this seems like a, a big guy maybe so start with big shapes and try to get an interesting shape and that's gonna involve alternating like thin and thick like if I wanted to do a thicker forearm and Broad shoulders, but the bicep kind of um, is smaller. And even though the bicep muscle, even though it's the smallest muscle in the arm, it's kind of the gets all the attention and makes you think of something strong. Another way to make a character strong is just with like this character looks like it would be a very powerful robot um, or something alien. When you're designing a character too, it's good to have some attitude rather than just do the whole stock standing like a police lineup thing. Get in there and have some... Make him have some opinions. Like this guy probably hates flowers and ice cream. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so he's got some arms there. He's got some arms that are interesting. What is this? This character sucks. I mean, probably. False advertising, clearly. Let's 
so broader chest. Maybe this will be a spaceman or something. We'll see. Cam hates opinionated people. <laughs> JVA, hello. I am okay. I'm like getting my um, frustration from the false start of the last live stream out of my system. Eraser is your friend. Shape this thing. Use. Use the eraser to shape <laughs> and refine. So, like me to do smaller feet, I mean legs. Triangle feet. Xgal, hello, welcome, welcome. We're gonna give it a uh, disproportionately large head. What tablet am I using? Says, I don't know what. Um, you're using a Huion Canvas Pro. Um, I'm using the um, XP Pen Artist Pro 15.6. It is, despite the fact that um, people that watched the False Start live stream just a minute ago, I have not really had any problems with it. Of course, that was more, it wasn't, it was a driver or something with my computers. Get wonky. But uh, that's what I'm using. Let's move this guy over. So, basically what I'm trying to do here is, is go for some interesting shapes. Um, I'm going to have some alternating areas of detail and then having a place for your eye to rest one of the reasons why i hate as a transformers artist and a transformers fan growing up the michael bay movies is that the transformer designs in those movies are so busy you don't know where to look um, be sure to share the new link out i need to do that as well Get shareable link. I'll go up here to Twitter because Twitter is a lovely place full of wonderful people. I'm designing a character live. Come watch the potential failure. <laughs> there we go. Good. Uh, when you work for Corporate Creative Studio and ask a question, what do you find satisfying in a project? This question is stupid. I just love it, drawing cool things. Any corporate questions, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you... What fills your creative bank? Shut up. <laughs> Nobody talks like this. All right, we can give some shoulder pads. He's a spaceman. I've decided it's a spaceman of sorts. And be oh yeah, yeah. Michael Bay Transformers are not. We're not. Uh, not my jam. Not my jam at all. of super chat but if we want to donate to you directly so you get most of the funds where we may don't where we where, 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 where maybe donate there's a, actually a paypal link in my description i believe a tip jar thing if you are so inclined huh? that's very kind of you all right all right so what are we gonna do we'll give him a gun a space gun space gun youtube Algorithms like, uh oh, uh oh, what, what's this? What's this he is doing? Oh, we gotta do some f something with the face here. 
I'll get to it. I'm gonna give him a belt. We're building this stuff up up, up slowly. I need to start getting some more detailed things. Maybe I'll give him some some uh, cabling, some wires. Let's see. Let's see what uh, happens. Give him a round belt buckle. We should probably have a pouch to collect those space rocks. Hiroshi likes the cartooning proportions. I like drawing cartooning proportions. They're fun. Cartoons are fun. So we got an area of detail up in here, which means this up here is I'm pretty much going to leave open. Give your eye, give the eye a place to rest. Just trying to use basic principles. So even if I fail on this particular character, the principle still stands. Also, something else when you're designing a, just the, as far as composition goes, having it dead center is okay, but having something a little off center, the rule of thirds, if you don't know what that is, if you divide, if you, if you turn the grid on, on your, your phone camera, you'll see, uh, things divided up like this, like one, what is it? Hold on. I mean, I did not do that proportionally at all. So there's like basically a quadrant here, like here, here, your eye. If you place something off center, kind of like that, it's a little more interesting. Oh, not, but not that layer. I'm on the wrong layer. So that's a little more interesting than just dead center, but there you go. All right. Fire still going. We're good warm and toasty toasty and warm all right so we're gonna have some not vertical straight vertical lines we'll have whoa we'll have that happen and we're gonna carry that design through on the thigh Toy Machine just noticed the channel's Cosby emoji. That's right. Members get custom emojis <laughs> that you can post. One of them is Cosby in jail. So we've got, uh, I'll figure out something on the head. The head has, cause this, this area here is going to be kind of sparse as far as detail. So I'm kind of alternating the detail a bit. So this little, um, in fact, I'll make it kind of, Maybe even metallic looking. Oh, in, in comics, you know, you have Colossus or anybody with like metal skin kind of has that sections and then the, sh the reflection there. It's an easy way just to denote metal, but detail, detail, rest, rest, rest. Afraid I don't see the link to PayPal. Um, Oh, it's not. Here, let me... Tip jar. Uh, hang on a second here. I gotta remember what it is. Oh, I got it. I got it. No. All right, so if you'd like to, in the description now is the, um, is the uh, PayPal thing. If you'd like to throw in a little tippage. Uh, Helion, why am I hearing a modem, modern uh, modem connection in the background? That's that song. I got to figure out what one that is. I hate that song. Okay, that one's, where are we in the playlist? We're on, the name of this song is Smooth and Cool. Dr. Momentum. Is that the name of it? I'll fix that. All right. So, we've got um, oh, my pen falling out of my hand. I'm going to have this connected to his hand. And on the fingers, I'm going to continue that, that pattern too. The 
we're going to have some boots come up around the knee. Oh, you're fine, Resolute. The nice thing about a little live stream like this is that it's it's informal. We chat. A uh, toy machine, welcome to the bronze level. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. It's very kind. Now you too can have the cause. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give him some traction. Got to think about the environment he might be in, so that kind of dictates your elements of your costume. And we got to do something with the head of this helmet. But what? But what shall we do? So if I wanted to be lazy. I don't think I like that. We'll just experiment. Jocko has the cause. Um, so, you know, when you're designing characters, especially for like a book or whatever, you're basically applying these principles to a bunch of different iterations. And then you're, as you do more characters, you'll refine it and you'll pick something. So this is, you know, stone cold first thing in the morning demonstrating the principles. But, um, if this were an actual, if this was an actual design, we would be doing multiple takes, passes, give them a doggy head. See, that's another good, you know, getting anything that is um, juxtaposing different things, for example. All right, so we're going to experiment here. Give him a dog, I'm going to give him a cartoon dog head. He's very cartoony to begin with. Give him a Hanna Barbera <laughs> something. I mean, he could be an alien at this point. Uh, Hyper Potato, I picture the red eyes so like Cylons or Kit. Uh, how are the nibs and XP pins? Do they wear out as fast? Um, mine has not wore, worn out. So I've had this. Well, I've only had it about, what, six, eight months. Matt V, hello. So if we do like old Hanna Barbera type. <laughs> I might erase this. I just want to see what, what what we come up with. <laughs> Actually, I kind of I kind of like this. <laughs> Good call. Hanna Barbera. They always had these. Uh, like the no matter what the character was, whether whether it was Fred Flintstone or Yogi Bear or whoever, the around the you know was for the for. Uh, um, the Flintstones, it was a five o'clock shadow, but it was all contained like around from the nose down here, this area where I'm drawing. Um, but there was always a color change. Like if you look at Yogi Bear from brown to light brown right there. A nib out of a piece of spaghetti and it actually worked. <laughs> That's weird. Let's also give a little expression. He looks worried. What happened to the truck video? What? What is that? What? What I miss? What was the truck video? Oh, <laughs> the other one. Um, we had a little uh, had a little hardware malfunction to restart my computer, of course. But fortunately, people don't stumble into live streams until about thirty minutes in, anyway. So. All right, so if we're going to do a cartoony character like this, he's going to have one ear up. He's ready. He's listening. But if he's listening and that ear's up, he needs to look that way. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Uh, good morning, M. Hopkins 0819. 
Um, <laughs> AL says, what, what happened to the character that doesn't suck? Are you saying that this one sucks? <laughs> let me, let me read you, Let me interpret your, uh, comment via, um, internet rules. Are you saying this character sucks? Yeah. Here's the a thing about YouTube. If you're ever going, going to start a YouTube channel, you get, you're a notified, you get three notifications a day as a, uh, if you hit the bell, you're going to get notified three times. So, um, I probably used up a notification on that first one, that botched stream. In theory, you should have this one. And I'm going to upload a short video um, later this afternoon, and that's three. So three videos is the sweet spot for the algorithm. Um, but if your channel is getting a lot of traction uh, and people are already focused on it, if you upload more than that, it'll the rules change a bit. Um so it's just the way it is. So basic principle here. This character is. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make notes here. Detail. Simplicity. I should put those on a different layer because I want to keep track of. I might post this later. Let's go through what we've got so far. All right, let me get my actual letterer pen. So, the right color, Brian. Um, detail. Simplicity. Uh, walked away for a minute and generic robot thing turned into an awesome space dog. That's right. <laughs> Nick guess the title of this video was a red herring. <laughs> I'll change the, I might, I might change the title principles of character design. Maybe this would be juxtaposition. Um, this we talk about design reflects environment. It's Colossus from the X-Men with a dog head and a gun. Muttley, it's Cable. Somebody said, um, suggested to give him an awesome dog head and I immediately just said, well, I'm giving him a Hanna-Barbera dog head. All right, so <clears throat> let me do something with this this gun here. Clean this up. And uh, I'm also going to make this canvas bigger. Change canvas size. We're going to ground it to the left and make the width. Uh, make it, we're going to make it square 17. Okay. Cause I want to give a, a bigger gun. It's boo boo. <laughs> it does kind of, it's like somewhere in between boo boo and, uh, something mutt rummy. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take this hand away. We're going to see what we got here. I want a bigger shape over here. Don't want it. Don't want it um, at a ninety degree angle, though. Let's see what we can do. Um, it's kind of like Fred Princeton. <laughs> yeah, 
Yikes. Give it a magazine. That doesn't really make sense, but it doesn't matter. And a scope. Uh, simplicity versus detail. Can you get a further explanation? Uh, just simplicity versus detail gives your eye somewhere to rest as you're looking over the figure. You get a little, your, your eye gets a little confused if it's nothing but complexity with nowhere to rest. And like I mentioned earlier, the best example of what not to do is the Michael Bay Transformers design. There's nowhere for your eye to rest on those. Still a little bit of a cartoony thing, gun. Chunky. It's a big chunky cartoony gun. Also good to try to make sure you're getting the angles. Don't make, don't draw your guns flat. It's a very easy habit to get into, to get lazy and forget to draw things that um, just not straight on, like this kind of is. But yeah, the that's the thing is like the fight scenes are like piles of garbage rolling or rolling down the hill, especially since there's really no big color um, uh, areas of color either. You notice. Hold on, I gotta work out something here. Let's change this hand here. To figure out how I want to have this. So I'm going to give his hands, keep it kind of like this one. This hand is not huge. Keep it kind of thin fingers. Indexing, always proper. Safety. Here or something. I don't know of what. What would be on it, but. All right, we're going to change the angle of this to make more sense with the hand. Okay? So. Gun facing more towards the front. All right, so let's let's ink this thing a little bit. But so we've got detail versus areas of rest. We've got un, like the head is unexpected with this body. And the gun is kind of offset. It's way big <laughs> for this character. Um, again, if this was an actual character you were designing for something, this would be like the first pass in about, you know, a page full of attempts. 
So let's take this down. Let's see where this goes now. I'm going to actually go to ink it. Oh, I haven't even saved it all this time. Nobody told me to save. Art, sketches, do, do, do. Go here to character design. And we're going to have this be space dog. Everybody be sure to hit like and leave a comment when this video goes uh, goes up. And when you can comment, it helps. It really helps. All right. So now. We're going to get a good uh, brush. Let's see what happens. Tip and save. Oh, you saw the, ch <laughs> the tweet about cheese vandal uh, vandalism. Yeah, go on my Twitter and see it. Read uh, that came off the the next door app. One of one of my somebody lived close to me. It's having a serious problem, and it was the, the post was titled vandalism, and apparently uh, someone had thrown cheese on their new car, <laughs> and they're like, we're reviewing the footage. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> AL thought about telling me to save. Does that count? Sure. It's a thought that counts. Reflection. Craft singles drive by. That's what I picture. Changing the angle to go with the form. I'm sure, which is where it's next door or Facebook HOA groups. fire still raging kind of how many concept passes uh probably anywhere from goodness it can be anywhere from five to 20 it depends on you know how much trouble a character is giving me um when i was designing like thunder punch for example i went through gosh it took me a long time like i can't even tell you how many months Trying to hit on something that that worked. The thing that kind of unlocked it too was um, like a thunder punch. The shapes, like the long arms, and just it was it was the basic going back to basic structures like we just talked about that uh, that kind of unlocked it. We're gonna do that there. People are tuning in. I was like, I thought she said this character wasn't going to suck. No, that's not right. Undo. Wrong button. I'm going to... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give his... Yeah, that's what he needs. Something. Uh, bu 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 Lawrence VE, what's up? Glad I remembered to check if Brian is on. Missing way too many of the live streams. Notifications? Yeah, right. Uh, I have an idea from original character. Says uh, Jester of Roanoke called 
Rumbo is a Chevy detective, wears a frumpy coat, and eats donuts while trying to solve murder. <laughs> hmm. I think you got something there. Gonna give him some pouches. It's about 35 minutes. It's not, it's not bad. It's a good time to share out the link. If you haven't done so already. Um, we're going to maybe give him a little strap. A little sash. I think that is called for there. Don't like those um, these things here. I didn't like that. So we're going to make this the continuation of this little metal part. Fire is really hot behind me. Good times. You're way too careful to offend anyone. In, you have a small channel. You're allowed to have an opinion. What was this in response to? I say something? Okay, the belt is going to be... Uh, what's up? 432. Heck. Hola. Como estas? Alright, so now... Let's not get lazy, Brian. That's the problem I'm having. Let's get uh, do, 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 do. switch over to Leaky Larry. No, I mean Leaky Pin. Leaky Larry is the other one. Hmm. We'll add some cleats. Carefully. All right. Let's get our um, little reflection thing in. Little Colossus legs. Here, we're going to have the light coming from the right. Hello, Jennifer. Cyber Huckleberry. I'll go back to this uh, other one, other pin, because it's going to be such a stark difference if I don't. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll use the this very smooth digital pin um, and then go back over some of the lines add a little texture. All right, so this is good. This will go here. Get this. Pouches, another go. Oh, just by the way, okay. I don't know what. <laughs> I 
tend to keep this particular channel all about art. There's no shortage of channels that are all all uh, commentary, internet commentary. So anybody that's watched me long enough knows that it happens sometimes here. Depends on how <laughs> depends on how mad I am at something. I'm going to start adding a little, like this, uh, the belt. Oh, let's see, do I want to make it black? Maybe. So got to get some black areas there. Um, I only see the nose at first and thought it was Yogi the Bear. <laughs> Shiny bone emblem. Actually, no, the bone emblem needs to go right here. So it could be... I like that. Good call. All right, so we're going to get this. Just kind of indicate how this thing is. Give the impression, the illusion, that there's design going on in here. Metal's hard to shade. I wish I could figure out how to do it with Copics. Um, so the thing that makes metal look metal is contrast. And I'll show you know, when we do the color. I'll 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 show you what I'm talking about. But um, where am I? Am I caught? Oh, uh, he looks worried. He does look worried. We might add something over here. Spam risk. That's me and spam risk go way back. No, I'm not answering that. <clears throat> Me and Spammer is kind of, kind of falling out. Um, that's a, that's a hot mess though. So the index, let's get this gun right first. This should be here. By the way. Spur of the moment correction. Have to go teach and babysit. Hit the like button. Don't forget to save. Boom. Saved. Thank you. All right, now down here, we're gonna draw the whole handle first. So this comes up here and the trigger would be here. Proper trigger discipline, finger indexed. Thinking, I can't think and work this out. Talking, blah, talk words come hard. Who owns Hanna Barbera? Um, well, this really isn't a Hanna. This is a Hanna Barbera esque character. It's not actually uh, any particular one. Uh, da, 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 da. Spam risk was no show at the ten year reunion. So was I. Who is Yogi the Bear? This was actually supposed to be a dog, not a bear. Hanna Barbera is still in business, though, aren't they? Okay, let's get this chest piece more defined. So funny how live streams 
go. Like yesterday we had um, 60 people watching. Today we're back down to, back down to our, th uh, what, 33 or so? Don't think they're around. Someone bought them out. I wonder who it is. One of you intrepid uh, researchers, internet researchers, look that up. Who owns the Hanna-Barbera characters now? Because they, they're still doing Scooby-Doo. Who's doing Scooby-Doo? Private Mutt is the first recruit for, wait for it, Space Force. <laughs> Cue the ad. <laughs> Space Force. Space Force. I'll give this a little odds and ends. All right, we're ready to take away the, the pencils. Warner Brothers Cartoon Network owns them. Okay, well, this will be Warner Brothers. Fire's a little, I'm let the fire go out. It's a little warm in here. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the leaky pen. And one little digital tip. You see how smooth these lines are? <clears throat> a lot of times I'll take the, just if I wanna make it look a little more hand-drawn, just add a little texture on that inside line. It takes away a little bit of the digitalness. Makes it look a little more, a little more human. Since this is in the style of Hanna Barbera, what's everyone's favorite and least favorite character? What is the? What was my favorite character for Hanna Barbera? As a kid, I never really liked Scooby Doo. I'm okay with Scooby Doo now. I mean, it, it grew on me, but. Um, what did I watch most of? I don't want to think for a minute. I mean, I watched all the... <clears throat> um, Huckleberry Hound and all those. Uh, I was treated as a newcomer in my little stream. It was awesome. I told them some shows I've seen. They were like, you have been around as long as we have. It was funny. some texture to these things here. Pouches. Pouches. And then we'll make a, the doggy bone should have maybe a thing there. Thing there. Game over, man. Game over. Car racing. Well, wacky races, yeah. Scrappy's most annoying, hands down. Thirteen goes to Scooby Doo. I watched that. That's Scrappy in it, right? It was just Daphne and the dogs, and Vincent Price. Yeah, Wacky Races, um, The Perils of Penelope Pit Stop. That's a deep cut. Um, what else did we watch? What else had Hanna-Barbera? Hanna what else did they have? Flintstones, yeah, Jetsons, Flintstones, of course. I watched all those. I gotta fix this line. This is an inside um, edge, so it doesn't need to be so thick. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry about the wobbly lines. Kind of an organic drawing. Pink Panther, yeah. USA Channel used to have Cartoon Express. I remember that. <clears throat> Lightning bolt to the edge of the bone. Power gauge. <laughs> Good. Hold on. <laughs> 
I gotta add one thing here. I gotta add some um, little nicks. Texture things. All right. Thundar the Barbarian, I think, was Hanna Barbera. I'm going to take some white. inside of this pink in the color. I'm going to make this divide up these reflections with the seams of the metal. Make it or at least the seams gonna break up that reflection. It'll make it seem more metallic y three dimensional interesting whatever you want to call it and then I'm gonna add a buckle um she ron he were filmation Cosmetti's back uh favorite probably the hong kong food and space ghost at least like scrappy and jab <laughs> jabber jaw All right, so let me save and let's do some color. All right, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to multiply. Underneath, we'll grab some color. So he needs to be, um, I'm thinking orange. Um, Oops, that's wrong. Not everything orange. No, too much orange. Now let's do it. These areas will be orange. Wrong button. I miss Bugs Bunny cartoons. I need to get some Bugs Bunny DVDs or something. My son really liked Roadrunner, but they just don't show him anymore. All right, we're just gonna go, again, this is some super loose everything here. Oh, there he is. Gotta get his space underwear colored in. Can't leave that done undone. Bugsy. Do they come on TV still? I'll never see them. Alright. Now we're going to get this. Um, it's a indigo gray. If you come in, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment when the stream is over, or if you're watching this later. As I learn slowly more and more about what YouTube's, how the algorithm is set up and what it looks for, and it's, um, Thumbnail and title are the two most important things. But there's a, a tipping point, I think. There seems to be anyway. With how much traction videos get that bleed into other things. And, and I don't know. It's, it's uh... all right, Resolute. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, uh, renting tapes. The movie house. Mom and pop movie rentals were the best. Those, those little stores. So we'll show P 
people that this is the finger by the color. Uh, let me get a good. Okay, that's, that's a decent leathery pouchy color. We'll go with that for now. Tarzan cartoon, but can't remember who did it. Um, Matt V, over 11,000 subs. Yep, I am 11.2. Uh, last, last I saw it. Anywhere there's a white in there. I'm going to give it an edge here. An edge of color. Just let the color overhang the edge a bit so you see, like, this has a color. This char character doesn't totally suck. I'm going to have to change the name of the live stream, aren't I? Principles of character design. In fact, I could change it right now. I have the power. What's a good uh, uh, what's what's a good title for this video that would get people to watch it later? You all are YouTube watchers. What brings you in? Um, let's see. Let's make this bone. Blue. Like that. Maybe it needs to be red. Copper pup and the cyber canine defenders. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so um, let's get his. Weapon to be a little bit darker. How to draw dogs with guns. <laughs> uh, I don't think the, the algorithm would like the such a violent title. You like the title, all right. Yeah. I, I talk about how to draw a character that doesn't suck. I made no guarantees that this particular character wouldn't suck. <laughs> Space Bones battle. That's the thing. I'm horrible at, at, the, at the thumbnail um, title combo. I guess. I mean, it's taken me how many years? of? So I, I've been on, on YouTube officially for 10 years now. But I have only been really doing the channel actually put putting things up on it and trying for going on four years three years I can't remember when I started no it was uh, three years three years I think I started in 2017 ish um, I started with that daily vlog thing and then moved on but um it's been uh, it's been it's been it's hard so, uh, according to um, Social Blade, I should get to 100,000 followers at this rate in four years. <laughs> I don't know what that's based on. A bit of an Irish whiskey and Cosmetics coffee this morning. And the coffee uh, this morning. Uh, why is sucking such a bad thing? Depends on what your goals are, I guess. Right, let's give a little uh, pink here. Let's get a blue for here. And for his nose. We're going to give him blue eyes. Just around the edge there. And now I've got to figure out a good color. Is it going to be brown? What? Start talking about politics. I'll get you the followers. It will. And then, see, here's the thing, though. If this channel becomes politics and heated, this chat goes away. Like me talking to you, this little interaction, you know, done. Because you can't keep up with it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. It's not this channel. When I ever want, Whenever I want this channel to become unmanageable, 
we'll 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 do politics. People need an escape from politics. Everything cannot be politics. All right, so let's get um Uh, I mean, it worked, I guess. There's the modem song. What is it? Quick, Brian, look, 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 look. Dr. Momentum is the name of that song. The chat would be a blur. It would be. So here's one of the things I, I noticed, like uh, when I was on Doug's stream yesterday and we we're talking and the chat's flying by. Most of the chat's not, it's just people voicing random opinions. So is the comments. It's not really interaction. It's just Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. It's like, well, this is, this is all not almost non sequitur. <laughs> Imagine if like, like <laughs> you're in a room and, and you're having a conversation and people find it interesting. And because they find it interesting, they walk in the room and just start shouting at each other, their opinion too, while you're talking. It's so bizarre. A little shelter like this from the world is welcome. I agree. Video title might feed the algorithm more, con most controversial handle Barbera inspired design ever. <laughs> Coffee. Is this cold? Mm. <clears throat> I have some, uh, um, some Irish cream I could put in there. A uh, new title. You won't believe amazing, craziest dog drawing conspiracy <laughs> debunked. <laughs> Um, that would actually be a funny title. You don't believe amazing. Yeah. This one weird trick, a jaw space dog with this one weird trick. <laughs> Modding for a blurry chat. So much fun. Ugh. I'm always surprised that people are surprised that I talk to the chat here. Brubrick almost never talks politics on his channel, but when he does, it's really funny. Um, Gen 2 of this pup could use a hat, maybe. Maybe. I don't know what else I could uh, do here. I could change the color of the dog to be more blue. Now he's like Huckleberry Hound color. Actually, I kind of dig that because it's the colors are... Hold on a second. <laughs> a little more complimentary. Um... The blue and the orange. I think I like that better, everybody. You won't believe. Amazing. I might actually take that, by the way. <laughs> Smoke and fire. Oh, yeah. There were some other things I was going to do to the gun, too. Hold on. So I was going to give the gun, like, a sight. Um, we want to do... Hold on. I'll get there in just a second. Get there in just a second. Might take the opacity down a little bit. Put it about there. <sighs> eye patch. Uh, if I do an eye patch, so we can see. I like the eye patch actually. Killing my back. Doing this little shoulder thing. Oh, hold on. Is there, a, is there a character like this? This looks like this has been done before. There's going to be something right here on the gun. But it's going to be... Something, uh, interesting. Good morning, Sharon. How's it going? It needs to be like a smiley face or something. <clears throat> and then we'll take the, uh, you gotta weather it a bit. Like it's. 
coming apart. That Yogi, no, it's a it's a Hanna Barbera esque um, character. The thumbnail should be you looking to the camera or your right with your mouth agape in shock. <laughs> Mr. Yuck. Oh, does anybody remember Mr. Yuck? I loved Mr. Yuck. Mr. Yuck is green. Um, yeah, the, the algorithm looks for human faces like. Um, Scooby-Doo skull or somewhere on it. Be overboard. I might put some skulls down here. And I have some different colors. Oh, no, oh, not that. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna mix up the tones a bit there. Let's make it look a little more interesting. Ink Puddle says, how about a triangular dog nose on the smiley face? Uh, let's see how that works. <laughs> I like that better. I like that. I'm gonna make sure it's. Goo. Um, yeah, Mr. Yuck stickers. Does anybody remember? There was a PSA, and I don't know if it was local or what. And I've looked for it online. It's just one of those random things that stick in my head. That there was a, a PSA uh, that it was kids in a supermarket, and he grabs like a Mountain Dew two liter, and he's. And it was like an anti-shoplifting thing, and he takes it, and they all run out. I don't know why I remember that. I remember that PSA, and there was another one of a cartoon whistle crossing the street, telling you how to cross the street. Does anybody remember those? This would have been um, early, late seventies, early eighties. I gotta crowdsource my research here. Why is there no eye patch smiley? I demand an eye patch smiley now. <clears throat> they don't, uh, uh, the, the smiley, the, the people that make smileys are anti one eyed people, I guess. All right, so let's do some shadows here. You remember the whistle, okay. There was some weird fire safety video I had to watch on a field trip. I remember uh, some, uh, not PSA, there would have been um, uh, educational film thing. We, you know, we'd watch it on the film projector. This was right before, before VCRs were in schools. And they'd have the big green projector. And I remember watching, um, do need some new smileys. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get some. Um, but it was, I, I had been, here, here's the, here's my brown recluse story. I got bit by a brown recluse when I was a kid <laughs> out building a fort in the woods. And um, so I got bit. And then the next day at school is when like that uh, started hurting on my leg. And um, I didn't know what it was at the time. <clears throat> And then I started feeling kind of sick. And then right about the time, you know, that kind of that sick, just crappy feeling. And we watched a, 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 a educational film on bus accidents. <laughs> and there was this, there was one of those that the, the kids are all acting up on the bus and, and the bus wrecks. And I remember when the bus wrecked, um, yeah, I just, it made me feel so much worse. <laughs> and then I went home and threw up the end. Well, then I had to go to the hospital. But, good times. Don't get bit. What is the, uh, uh, the vampire fire, what?
Who's calling now? It is my son's friend calling so they can play video games together to FaceTime. They are out of school because uh, it's calling for snow. <laughs> Smile, think about those old projectors. Yeah, the big green projectors. Always exciting. I remember watching one of those. It was, a, and this one had been made in the 60s or 70s, the PSA, whatever thing. It was about how to keep warm. I just remember a kid on a farm. And one of the ways you keep warm is by running and keeping active. That's what's stuck in my head. Things you remember. Can't do math. Know how to keep warm. Let's make these a little bit darker. A little more contrasty. There we go. Steve Ice got bite from a brown recluse with sleep hurt. Ah, oh, yeah. Brown recluse killed a chicken. Oh, no. Yeah, I had, a, I had a scar on my leg for a long time. But it faded. And I went to the hospital and the doctor said uh, he was going to, he had to cut away, you know, the part because it starts... Um, skin starts dying and he told me so I wouldn't freak out he's like alright you, know, you ever seen those movies when, when somebody gets uh, bit by a snake and they just make a little X that's what all I'm doing making a little X like he was doing more than making a little X AIDS commercial <laughs> the film strip projector with the beep yeah and then you get that where it would get off and then the, the audio would shake Kids now they have no idea the joy of not having to, of, of that projector. The joy of just having a little bit of time and we're not going to be doing work. I had a really good elementary school experience. Though. I have really fond memories of elementary school. Middle school, no. High school is okay. High school is just... The only thing I miss from high school is um, ROTC. I was in ROTC. Had a blast. That's where we uh, <clears throat> we did a boot camp thing down to Charleston when there was a naval base down there, and we went on an active destroyer. And we're in the CIC Combat Information Center, and the guy next to me is he was a weird, weird kid, but the lieutenant who's showing us around is talking and. This kid's standing next to the weapons console and just starts pushing buttons. And I'm like, do I say anything? Do, what is, and then finally the lieutenant saw him and came over and said, it's okay, the console's off. And he pushed a bunch of buttons. And I'm like, pushed a bunch of, bunch of buttons. I'm like, yeah, he didn't know that. Um, Hex got to go do things. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. Took a field trip to Roanoke Airport. Kid threw up in the back of the bus. And also the foot pew ho ho ho. And, and the, uh, <laughs> no sawdust to throw on it <laughs> or whatever that stuff is. They, they put on it in the class. The janitor would come. Um, fair, you lose power during a snowstorm. Remembering to be active. Keep warm is going to help you more than sitting down doing long division. It's true. Uh, Gretchen, hello. I am doing okay. Do you remember standing up and reciting the preamble? Um, I remember the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I vaguely remember that. I remember lots of square dancing. <laughs> Certainly came in handy in life. Buttons are there to be pushed. That's right. Apparently. Do you always use purple? I do it a lot. Just It's kind of my go-to for these live streams. Because it's easy. I'm going to use the eraser to cut in here. Yeah, for the purpose of a live stream, it's, it's not a bad idea to have a go-to little formula, color formula thing. I mean, in your work, your real work, you want to experiment and change it up and whatnot. But for the stuff we do here, you got to get in and out. So you can't spend all your time doing that. 
Rachel, hello. Remember G.I. Joe Star Brigade? This could be Road Bark. <laughs> Free and <dead. laughs> We're joking for you there. Uh, for shading colors, I, I mean, I'll use blue. It depends on, you know, mostly blues and purples. Um, sometimes browns. Uh, I'll use blues over reds and browns over the purple. If the base color is purple sometimes. It just depends. Uh, sitting in class with my earbuds, half in, half out, listening to you while still paying attention. Really boring class right now. However, my art class block is next. <laughs> if you get in trouble, it's not. It's not my fault. Or it can be my fault. What, can, what are they going to do to me? really like the underglow. I'm going to add some uh, reflected light in just a second, too. I do that a lot. What time is it? Oh, it's lunchtime. Wow, got to get busy on some commissions. I still have, still have to do. People are waiting. Oop. What is that? What layer is that on? Oh, it's on that layer. That's weird. Megs, good morning. Virtual school. Oh, okay. That's not like real school. <laughs> uh oh, wrong layer. Erase. So I'm, I'm just erasing some of the shadow, and it gives it, uh, just adds a little, little bit of something, something, something. All right, uh, let's get some highlights. I'm going to grab orange, see how this works. Uh, but I'm going to get a textured brush. No, this side, over here. Um, live streams where Brian hones his basic lady setup skills. <laughs> what am I doing in the background? I don't know. Probably just a color. Um, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. In case nobody has caught on, every live stream is by the seat of my pants. I had no idea I was going to end up drawing a space dog today. Suspend it again. Of course you are. I just assume that's your default. <clears throat> I just assume... I'm more surprised when you're not suspended. It's a cake. Hmm, I don't know. All right, uh, let me see. I'm gonna do the usual reflected light. I'm gonna get a green. Darker green. This green kind of changes a little bit of hue depending on what surface it's hitting. Sip and save. How about save? My coffee's cold. And touch the touch the coffee cup to associate it. Um, spontaneous live streams are good. And <clears throat> Toy Machine gives it two dolls. Two causes. Damn, the Toy Machine's suspended. <laughs> suspended as well. I've never been suspended on Twitter. Nobody cares about my Twitter account. Nobody takes me seriously. Oh, 
Okay, now let's go up here. Let's make a, another layer and just get some actual straight up white and having some. Oh, so you're talking about metal. Um, it's the contrast that makes things look metallic. So whatever color you are using. Here I've just used black, but any any real dark color, like if I could get um, get in here to multiply and get something really dark, for example, it'd probably be a good idea to accentuate the point. It's this contrast that does it. So in markers, it's the same thing. Do you prefer drawing animals, humans, humanoids, anthropomorphic, or a combination for characters? Um, a combination. More um, humans and humanoids. Um, animals, um, occasionally. I forget to log into a Twitter account for days. Uh, I, I, I have to do it because it's, it's part of my business. It's part of my job. Otherwise, I'd probably never be on it. If it wasn't for the fact that everything I do... The only way my whole career has worked is because I'm online. I wouldn't be on anything. You would, ne you, I would be gone. I would be. I don't know what. I'd just be around reading books, blissfully unaware of the world. We're all in exile now. It's true. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, all right, let me hit save. All right, so let's see here. Let's get some smoke coming out of this thing. Get some gray. And then... Um, this your business does not benefit from being online Ugh. all right save anything else I want to do to this guy um, give him some place to stand how about that how about we uh very lightly. Um, you seem to be very confident with your lines. I really admire that. It's um, just, again, experience over and over. Now let me go behind it and add Something. Something. Maybe we should add some... Hold on. Here's what we're going to do. Um, I got to think for a second here. I know. All right. I'm going to get my rectangle select thing. I'm going to center this thing back up. I'm going to go here to about here. That's good. Then I'm going to hit my fill black. Make sure I am um, doing this there, there, there. That ear will come back in just a second, people. Never fear. We don't fear. Just keep moving. Okay. Okay. This is all okay. Now what's going to happen is apply to connect the pixels on that one layer. No. There we go. Now we're going to go up a layer. I'm going to get my spray tool. I'm going to get this. I'm going to make stars. Stars. Does he need a tail? That tail's back there. It's, yeah. Love the drawing of the dogs like he doesn't he don't like holding a gun. <laughs> um, all right. So make the stars. Start with a big brush. And it's the star field that'll make the, that black ear pop out again. And nebula, I'm going to put back here. 
So basic little smattering of small stars. Then we make the particle size bigger. Boop, 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 boop. And then I'm going to have coming across like the Milky Way or the Nebula or whatever, whatever this is. It's going to cut across roughly this little cloud of something. And then we just do a little bit bigger just here and there. Pooch Patrol will be the next crowdfunder. Uh, Doghead does not really have a name. Gotta get the dirt hose. We'll do some more nebula, Milky Way looking clusters of stars. I feel like any minute this dog will start singing Oh My Darn Clementine. <laughs> it does have a Huckleberry Hound feel. It's the Huckleberry Hound colors with a Yogi. Again, this is generic uh, Hanna-Barbera esque design all right so then we will do another layer that will be the glow dodge layer we're going to grab a reddish purple no um well we are going to do that some of this is going to be like there's stuff going on here and there on the edge Actually, there's a lot of like brownish looking. Look at the Milky Way. There's like a tan color. And then maybe, uh, let me get this actual airbrush for this part. Let me do the glow over. Thank you, Sharon. Appreciate it. We should figure out a name for them. Uh, smoke coming out of the end of the gun barrel might look cool. I've got it right there. Let's see. Blue. We want some blues in here. All right. Then we're going to take a white. Or no, we'll take a... Um... Okay, so star that's in this blue area I'm going to make it have a blue glow and anyone that is in that purplish area will have more purple glow so there we'll give some of these stars some of them shine a little bit brighter like life some people just shine brighter than others what are you talking about Brian Oh, you know. Trestle, what's up? Space dog gym. <laughs> um, then we'll take some more of do, 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 do. um what did I need? I need the dirt hose. And then the the, the this thing. I don't like that. Go away, go away. Undo. There we go. Nope. Soft. Hmm. Uh, looking for what to do to my school. I can look back down. There's an entire galaxy behind him. <laughs> Maybe some star glow behind his raised ear. Oh, the raised ear. Just get a little bit of. Um, this actually needs to be continued. I see. I see. I see what's up. Hold on. Hold on. The galaxy needs to come up a little bit here. And then from there, I can take the airbrush, grab some of this. There we go. Just go over the whole thing there. Now the other one. This whole side, maybe this whole side needs to be brighter. I think that's better. There we go. Save. <clears throat> now, 
Um, I could leave it like this, but if I want to make him pop a little more, um, I'm going to take another layer and grab white and just maybe make, maybe, not the dirt hose. Add a little outline. I may just do away with this. I'm just experimenting, see if it works. Trestle has to go to work. So, so far, this has taken me an hour and a half. Oops. Is it snowing yet? Stop snowing. It stopped. What do we, we have leftovers? What did I eat last night? Oh, no leftovers. I remember. I remember now. It's a gr uh, great stream. It's a storm machine. I'm out. All right. I'm going to have a good one. To the grocery store shopping came back since you started drawing. <laughs> Let's just start drawing this. It's supposed to snow today, but I didn't. I was really looking forward to it. It's supposed to start snowing more this afternoon. But, you know, they can't predict the weather. They don't know. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Here he is. S Space Dog. I may change the title of this though. Uh, to reflect the Space Dog, I'll think of something here. I gotta do a thumbnail and uh, come up with a catchy title. I like the, uh, <laughs> what was it? I gotta scroll up here. What did Lawrence V say this should be named? You won't believe uh, Uh, where is it? It's back in time. Oh, you won't believe. Amazing, craziest dog drawing. Conspiracy debunked. A conspiracy might get, uh, might get me, <laughs> uh, might get me, um, you know, throttled or something. I don't know. Yeah, they're cracking down on things. Uh, so I don't know. I have to come up with something. Something. Just don't know what. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching for a bit. Um, I'll have another video posting this afternoon. So if you see my um, my video go up uh, after lunch, please go watch. Hit a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'm trying to get the algorithm to get the... I'm trying to grow the channel a little more. And uh, that's one of the things the algorithm likes is comments, engagement, and stuff. And so... Um, so please go do that. Watch another video. Do the same thing. Leave a comment on a couple of my recent videos. And um, thanks for thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Space Dog just landed <laughs> on Flat Earth. You won't believe what comes next. <laughs> Kill a with a zero. 